Okay, two days out of three days. Two, three days. It's Wednesday. Four days. Something <laughs> out of NerdCon stories, and I am still completely knackered. So that's probably a good thing, right? I'm Tree, and this is Project Transparency. I really do need to update that um, intro sequence, though I like the music, I, I just, it needs to be less weird, I guess. <laughs> Buggy, strange, my, my, my fitting skills have, have gone up since then, so yes. So for those of you who are coming to my YouTube channel for the first time, ha, if I met you at NerdCon, please say something in the comments. I, I'm enjoying talking to people. It's very nice. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to talk about today. I just felt like I should, you know, do a, a, a video and say, hi, and I survived. I survived my first time exhibiting at a con, and it was amazing, and everybody there was great. <sighs> okay. Calm. So one of the things I know I wanted to show you all is if you came by my booth at NerdCon Stories, which I was Tentacle Maid Studios, you probably heard a story about this little guy, the Plague Doctor. As I was saying before I had to feed my camera, Y'all probably heard me talk about the origins of this little guy. This guy is a misprint, hence why he's wonky looking. My little plague doctor. This, this painting, this diptych, see there's two canvases there, is what the plague doctor originated out of. See, that's Judith down there singing with her her very, very 20s satin gown. Uh, so that's the explanation of where the plague doctor came from. That he came shuffling out of that diptych. You can see why I didn't bring the paintings with me. It's a little hard. Well, you guys saw my booth. It's a little hard to display that in the kind of booth I had. I probably could have managed it, but yeah. So basically what this week is being so far, as far as my studio practice goes, is, is unpacking from NerdCon, which is slow going, updating Redbubble, which I haven't quite started. I, uh, I you know, updated my store envy at least to reflect what I sold. <sighs> Inventory. Inventory just goes on and on and never stops. It's ridiculous. And then, you know, next week I'll start making buttons again. And I have ordered new storage. So if you ever see me in another con again, I will have better storage, a better storage system for my buttons rather than the, you know, kind of discreet, illicit paper bags <laughs> that look like I'm some illegal drug dealer or something. But, you know, art is kind of a drug. It, 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 it Comforts, it comforts the disturbed and disturbs the comfortable. And I'd show you all my studio right now, but it is such a mess. Um, I actually have to start working on kind of the prototype piece for um, the prototype of one of the pieces I'm making, assuming I get accepted to the show. Uh, the quirky show that the art garage is having in February. The art garage is in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and it's basically a not-for-profit community art center slash gallery. We teach classes and we have art up and things like that, and it's basically my home gallery. Kim, our gallery manager, kind of, I'm kind of her pet conceptualist, which, you know, conceptualism 
isn't as hard as people think it is. It's basically, you know, your art is generated by an idea rather rather than, ooh, it's pretty. So, and trying to communicate that idea. That's the hard part, trying to communicate the idea. But I am basically Kim's pet conceptualist. Everything I do is conceptually driven, even my fan art is. Uh, my, the piece I have up there right now is, and I will put, insert an image of it here, <laughs> is a giant Matt Murdock from Daredevil piece that, I don't know about anybody else, but the Daredevil TV sh show that's on Netflix, which I really enjoyed. Hell's Kitchen was just really clean for me, for the kind of place that Hell's Kitchen was supposed to be. So I kind of did a background that was much more miasma and graffiti and layers and layers and centuries of kind of gunk. So that's what it is. <laughs> and we have this kind of path leading back to Matt Murdock and his glowing self because, you know, how he see he sees so yes that is an example of my, my 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 fan art even being conceptually driven and it's entertaining for Kim and it confuses a lot of the people who come into the gallery because most of them are are biddies and there's nothing wrong with being a biddy and thinking watercolor is the beginning and ending of everything that's fine we, we literally have have watercolor gilded shows at the art garage every year to the point where the bad guys in one of my my half-written novels are called the watercolor guild because I'm just like all the time about it but let me show you the uh, preliminary like little bit of stuff that I've been doing with the Pete with my prototype piece for the quirky show which <clears throat> if I can get the prototype piece up and running I'm probably going to have up in the Art Garage Gallery uh, November through January so that I can just like add to it for the quirky show because it's installation-y and yay! <laughs> Installations are fun! So it's all this floof, which it doesn't look like much now, but it's supposed to once I get it up and running, as I make you all sick with how quick I move, I'm sure, it's going to be much more of a kind of fuzzy mold growth because I like my my gross cute as well it's if you sit, if you came to my booth you know this my, my, my gross has a tendency to be cute and my cute has a tendency to be gross <clears throat> so and mind you none of that is yarn I spun because this is my prototype I'm hoping that the quirky show piece will integrate more of fiber I've spun. But while I'm still trying to figure out the how it's working, I didn't want to I didn't want to utilize finite resources that are incredibly expensive. Also, <laughs> since I came home from NerdCon, I've been um, I been, I've caught up on all my sketch days and all my draw weens and all my draw weens and things like that. So I'm finally caught up with all of that. Um, but I've also been applying to other conventions. I sent in an application to C2E2, which is making me freak out <laughs> because it's huge and they're like restrictions on their thing don't make a whole lot of sense to me because they don't want you to sell buttons for some reason they want you to sell original art it's like I, but you can sell art prints and it's like how is a button not an art print so the only explanation I could come up for that is that, well, okay, there are other explanations, but my, my, my knee-jerk reaction is that it's actually really elitist. Because, you know, art prints, most people's art prints, not mine, because I try and make sure that they are really inexpensive, that's why they're all postcard-sized, are 20, 50, 100. You know, that limited edition thing, which is fine, I'm all for limited editions. But it's all about, it's real. all of that is really elitist to me and goes 
so against my, my, my democratic view of art because you know I can't afford a thousand dollar painting I can't afford a fifty dollar print but I can't afford a two dollar button so yeah <laughs> I also applied for Kitsune Con, which happens here in Green Bay, and which is much more likely to happen. It's, it's not like nerd con small, but it's pretty small. It's a, it's a very small anime con. And who else did I apply to? Anime Milwaukee, which I'm a little freaked out about too, but their entire application thing was very, we want people who are patient and interested in connection and with other people and just really sounded more in my wheelhouse of how I deal with bringing art to the public because yes, I would like to sell things, but I'm more interested in art going to a good home and for people to have a an, an engagement with something than to for it to go to a collector. That's never been my 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 modus operandi. And I'm also looking at like GeekyCon and I'm sorry, I have, I'm that the con crud is getting to me. I think <clears throat> GeekyCon and Asin and Con Convergence and a myriad of other ones, most of which do not have their Artist Alley stuff up yet. Because, yes, con season has basically ended. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like sneaking up on everything from, from the back right now. And I don't know. So something that, you know, because I'm brilliant and didn't get to put on my business cards, y'all should know if you want, you know, t-shirts of my stuff. Like, if you want... Um, your very, very own Plague Doctor t-shirt or something, because I don't swag that way yet, because I'm very, very small at this. He's up on my Redbubble until the end of October, so you have a couple more weeks to get him. And my Redbubble is tentacle made, one word. It preceded the branding by a couple years. And I do have... Plague Doctor buttons and prints left over that will be going up on my store Envy in the next, like today probably. I need to take better pictures because the pictures I have are like Instagram, yay, pictures, and I need a better picture. And my store Envy is Tentacle Made Studios, all one word. So you can find me to buy my stuff in those places. I'm thinking about retackling Etsy. Etsy always ends up on my business card because it was on there in the beginning. I'm thinking about putting up more of like uh, more things like the diptych just because I think that might go better there. Maybe the little plush front, pocket plush friends. So yes, plans, plots, things. My total list has gone down from like 50 things to 28 things, so I'm getting stuff done. And yes. So if you enjoyed this completely random blather, and I, I'm often blathery, usually not this bad. Please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, check out my other videos. Usually they're less nutty. My other videos are less everywhere. I, I, I think this is the post-con tired talking. And check out my stuff on other places. I, I have Instagram and Twitter and Tumblr and all like pretty much every social media thing you could want. I do have a snapchat that I don't really use much at the moment But that's going to be changing I hope and when it does it'll go into the drawer with the rest of the list of places you y'all can find me and With that I'm going to go I'm going to go do things that involve computers and taking pictures and updating things. 
it was nice meeting you all if you're watching from NerdCon Stories. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.